Kingdom mythos has always been a subject of research and fascination. One iconic concept of the series is the distinguished Mark of Mastery and the coveted and respected title of Keyblade Master. Throughout the narrative of the series, Keyblade Masters have shown to have great abilities, not only in combative skill, but mastery over others and their own heart. Masters carry the responsibility to uphold the balance of their world and every other, with the task to strike down all those who seek to disturb that balance. There are also the de facto protectors of Kingdom Hearts and its secrets. Talented Keyblade wielders who have shown to be exceptionally strong at heart undergo what is called the Mark of Mastery exam. As its name suggests, the exam tests those to see if they are worthy of the Mark of Mastery. The examination is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy, not a test of wills, but a test of heart. These words weigh heavy and stay true to the nature of Keyblade wielders and their abilities as well. This tale delves deep in what constitutes as the Mark of Mastery, becoming a master, and what it means in the series and what makes a master so pivotal and important to the grand scheme of things. This is the tale of the Mark of Mastery and the Keyblade Masters. The Mark of Mastery exam can only be conducted by one who carries the title of Keyblade Master themselves, and is created to test one's mastery over their own heart and the balance of light and darkness within themselves. A supposed rule in the examination states that candidates must be of a certain age in order to be tested for the mark. However, in dire situations, exceptions can be made. The test in itself has no true procedure, rather that it's more of an observation that the master conducts of the test takers while they attempt to accomplish their trial, with the trial itself being created or tasked at the discretion of the master conducting the exam. Trials may consist of combat exhibitions, missions, or special tasks that is designed to test the strength of and over your own heart, rather than your power, will, or technique. Those who show that their heart's strength and balance is the true power behind their strength and prowess will be declared worthy of the mark. A master can only rise when a Keyblade wielder has shown to have complete control over their heart and the light and darkness within it. There have been Keyblade masters shown to either revel in the light or to control the darkness. Those who undergo the mark of mastery will fail if for any reason their heart succumbs to either entity. A master is not measured by their strength, resilience, or dominance, but they are measured by their heart. Becoming a Keyblade Master doesn't signify your great strength, as there have been Keyblade wielders with immense strength and power that have even felled masters. However, masters are given special knowledge and abilities over the heart and the Keyblade that even the strongest of Keyblade wielders cannot perform without the title of master. This includes extraction of one's heart as well as others, splitting hearts, complete protection and mastery over the light and darkness in one's heart as well as manipulation of the light and darkness within another's heart. Those on the level of master can also have the ability to choose successors and grant the ability to wield a Keyblade to another It was called the Keyblade Inheritance Ceremony. When the mark of mastery is earned, the newly crowned master is given a choice in their future. To stay in their respective land, uphold the laws and balances of that land, and to take on apprentices who will train to earn the mark and may be dispatched to mend the balance of the worlds if it ever became disturbed. Or to assume the seeker's life and travel among many worlds to preserve the established order, upholding their rules and laws while also learning their secrets. While it's not their responsibility, traveling masters may also take on apprentices of their own. The Mark of Mastery and the Keyblade Master is a very interesting and exciting subject to explore. With the advent of Kingdom Hearts 3 dawning over us along with the eclipse of the Lost Masters, we can only hope that this section of the Grand Kingdom Hearts lore will be expanded on. So as always, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, favorite, all that good jazz. It will really help me out a lot. And keep here at HMK, the most hectic gaming knowledge channel on all of YouTube. So until the next video, I've been HMK, I'll check you guys later.